Today on Let's Fish TV, we are at Lake Hartwell. Lake Hartwell is located in the western part of South Carolina, and it is loaded with all types of species of fish. Today, we're targeting stripers and hybrids for a phenomenal show. Guys, we're gonna absolutely blast them today. The fish are biting, and I can't wait to showcase it. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That's a big one right there. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. You ever caught a fish that big? No! <laughs> Got him. Now the day. Oh. There you go. Another redfish. Got, Got him it. now. That's what Let's Fish TV is all about right there, guys. Welcome to Let's Fish TV. I'm your host, Andrew Upshaw, and today we're at Lake Hartwell. Lake Hartwell is fed by two big rivers, the Tuglu and the Seneca, and sits just over 56,000 surface area acres. This place is loaded with all types of fish from largemouth bass, spotted bass, crappie, hybrids, and stripers. Today, though, we're going after hybrids and stripers. This lake is known for some of the biggest stripers in the state of South Carolina and I know for a fact we're going to get on those fish. We'll also have this week's fishing report from your local region from our insider reporters. In the meantime, I'm going to get this Academy boat launch, get everything set up. We'll toss it back to the studio for your weekend planner. Hi, everybody. Great news. Spring has finally arrived. We have a lot of great fishing ahead of us. The Salooner Tables are predicting good game fish activity Saturday and Sunday. Those peak action times will begin around 10.59 Saturday and 11.49 late Sunday morning. Nighttime action will begin around 1034 on Saturday and 1124 Sunday evening. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 724 and set around 742. Also this weekend will feature a full moon. Keep up with our latest fishing adventures, tips and tricks from Let's Fish TV by joining us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget Andrew's doing an Academy tour, so be sure to look to our social media pages to see when and where he will be next. Today on Let's Fish TV, we're at Lake Hartwell. We're gonna go target stripers and hybrids. We're in the early part of the year, the pre-spawn, spawn, you know, that early part of spring. The fish are biting, the bass are biting, but we are going after stripers. We've got a big wind coming in today at post frontal. We're gonna go search out some bait, see if we can find some shad and some herring to find those big stripers. We're gonna get after it. We'll see y'all here in just a second. Nice. Is it either gonna be a hybrid or a striper? That's what I'm talking about. Dropped it right on his nose. Golly. It's a pretty nice one too. We put it right on his nose. That's the benefit of using active target too. But today, guys, we are on Lake Hartwell, and we're actually fishing for these particular fish, hybrids and stripers, what this lake is absolutely known for. But today, we're not just talking about fishing. We're talking about the area, the Lake Hartwell country, and all the benefits of coming fishing here. You know, I know a lot of times you see me do bass fishing shows and crappie shows, but I really wanted to bring you a different episode today and show you just how much fun these striper are. I mean, like, we're already a minute into this fight and I'm finally starting to gain some ground on this fish. Oh my gosh, it's a big one, guys. All right, we almost got her whipped. All right, here we go. I guess this is probably one of those that I should have brought a net to. There we go. Oh, come here, fish. Come here, you big joker. There we go. Check that out. Nice striper here on Lake Hartwell. I mean, had that minnow choked. Check that out, wow. Craziness. Just get those pliers in there. Pops right out, just like that. 
What an awesome fish. Let's get this fish back. We're talking a little bit about where we're at, what we're doing. Whew, I'm whipped. <laughs> Goodness gracious, guys. You know, this is, I hadn't been striper fishing in quite some time. And that one kind of kicked my booty. You know, I'm only fishing with, with 10 pound braid to a six pound leader. Kind of giving myself a little test today just to see how it all works out. But today we're in Lake Hartwell. And Lake Hartwell is a very special place for me. I, I love this body of water. I fished a bunch of bass tournaments here. But today I wanted to bring you something different. I wanted to bring you a striper fishing show with a little bit of edging bass like I like to do. But today we're using Active Target 2, using a little minnow, just kind of jigging around trying to find these stripers. But uh, beyond just beyond just fishing for striper and fishing this area, which is a beautiful area, is Lake Hartwell is known for a lot of different things. You know, whether it be bass fishing, crappie fishing, but it also has some amazing hiking, some great rivers. I mean, the, the fishing here is fantastic. Everything around here is so, so nice. So we're gonna break that down today. We're gonna talk about this area and what makes it so special beyond just how great this particular lake is. But I'm gonna get back to it. The striper are everywhere. I'm gonna explain how you find them here on Lake Hartwell and what you need to do when you get a chance to come down here. So let me get back to it. I'll see y'all here in just a second. Hey y'all, I'm Captain E and it's time for your Carolina's Report this week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. The leader in water sports along the Grand Strand, our guys at Crazy Sister and Girls want to take care of you, get you out on the water. We've got every charter you can imagine from inshore, nearshore, offshore. Make sure you visit crazysistermarina.com and get your trip booked now. We're going to talk about Lake Watery here in South Carolina and that water level's come down. You know, they've been doing some work on that dam up there, but the striped bass bite has been incredible up there along with the catfish. But if you can also get in that watery river from Wolf Guide Service, that incredible guide down there is having a great time right now, catching lots of stripers in the river. If you want to book a trip, go find him at Wolf's Guide Service, but you can do it yourself and get out on that lake. Find those, tar find those bait schools and you're gonna find those stripers. Get out there, do some slow trolling, make sure you got that thumper and get those fish's attention. You can have a great time. And down here along the coast, let's talk about the Waccamaw River, the PD River. As those bass have moved up into that spawning areas, you can get into those marinas. Anywhere back in the back of those creeks, you're gonna find a lot of bedding fish right now. Get out there and look for your biggest fish of your lifetime. Be make sure you take a lot of patience with you and remember, if you've given them enough time and they're not gonna play with it, move on to the next. There are plenty of fish on the beds. If you just get out there, use your eyes and locate the fish. This has been your Carolina's Report brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. What? Oh, right there, there's another one. Oh, here it comes. Oh, he's, he's going vertical on it. There we go. Another striper. Little striper this time. God, that was awesome. Goodness gracious. Saw him come up, arc on it. Another nice little striper here. Not a big one. That other one was a really, really nice one. But a good, a good fish nonetheless. There we go. Oh, come here, fish. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I promise I've done this before. There we go. There we go. Another nice little striper. This is a, a, a what they consider a small striper here on Lake Hartwell, but a good fish nonetheless. I mean, Guys, the fishing is fantastic here. One thing about what makes Lake Hartwell really, really special is the blueback herring. Blueback herring are a, a certain type of bait fish and the stripers, the spotted bass, everything feeds on the blueback herring. They get four to six inches in size. They're really fast moving bait, but it really helps make those fish grow to a very, very large uh, level. And you know, this is something that I learned back home on Toledo Bend on the white bass run. We always call the white bass run when they get ready to go spawn. What they do is they move up the rivers back home. And so here is the exact same way. So during the early spring, you know, with 
We're in the early part of spring right now. The bait is up the rivers where the water's a little bit dirtier, a little bit warmer. And as the season goes on, the fish go down the lake. So when you get into the summertime, they're down in the main part of the lake of Lake Hartwell. As these fish shift, they, they actually chase the bait up here and they'll shift back down to the main lake part of the lake. There's an enormous school of striper here. I can't wait to showcase. I also have a brand new bait I can't wait to show you too. Um, we'll talk about that here in just a minute as well. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism, Let's Fish on Alabama's beaches, Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Yep, it's a nice hybrid. Check that out, guys. Wow. This lake really shows out. Oh, here he comes. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a hybrid there. Yep, that's a hybrid. The other two were stripers. And so Hartwell is known for not only it's it's big stripers but also really nice hybrid bass which i'll show you the difference when i get this fish in one thing that makes it different is the stripers are a little bit longer whereas the hybrids are a little bit taller and what i mean by taller is they're from here to here they're bigger but the one way you can tell a hybrid is the broken stripes on the side, whereas the stripers are a single stripe down the side. And that's not a bad hybrid right there. Really nice fish. Golly, they're chunky here, eating all those blueback herring. But real fast, I wanna show you a new bait that is soon to be released, actually is gonna be released at the Bassmasters Classic. This is called the Mock Baits Schooler. And as you can tell, it actually has a broken tail you know you can actually see the the ribs in the tail what this does is it gives the bait an enormous amount of action without a lot of rod action and what that means is i don't have to sit there and shake it or do anything like that all i have to do is float that bait in front of the fish and it's going to give enough tail action to get that fish to strike it's going to come in a bunch of different colors and is fantastic bait for using on a jig head use an active target or any type of forward facing sonar when you're fishing for these fish. You know, when it comes to striper fishing, honestly, forward facing sonar has really changed the game. I mean, you can find the fish easier, but it's not even just about that. You know, this time of year, especially the early spring here at Lake Hartwell, in a lot of places, the biggest key is finding the bait fish. Once you find the bait fish, you're gonna find the fish. And that's what makes using nice sonar or better sonar really really important and also what makes having a through hole transducer even more important so what i mean by that is where you actually epoxy the transducer in the bottom of your boat and what i am able to do with my lorance hgs pros is while i'm running down the lake going 25 30 miles an hour i can watch that sonar and once i start seeing that bait pop up I can turn around and start fishing. That's exactly what I did today. I was able to find the bait and in turn found the fish. And that's what you look for anytime you're on any body of water looking for fish, but more importantly, especially when you're fishing for striper on Lake Hartwell. So I'm gonna get back to it. The fish are biting guys. You wanna come down here, I promise you. This is a blast. Hey y'all, welcome to my favorite part of the show. This is the Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. Brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Garmison, with Ugly Fishing. You can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. You can book online as well as some money-saving opportunities on the homepage with Salt's Gone, LureNet.com, and Pure Flats Fishing, creator of the Slick Lure. Uh, along the Alabama coast, all inshore species are doing well as well as the, as well as the nearshore species. Inshore, we're catching slot reds, puppy drum, and speckled trout. Look for your areas 
that are gonna have cleaner and clearer water. So find an area where there, it's on a leeward shoreline. It's had a couple of days worth of, uh, worth of wind. On the lee side, that area should be cleaner, whether it's in a river or whether it's out in the bay or Mississippi Sound. Those slick lure products are working really, really well on the speckled trout uh, and bee cat color and tiger bait on our most recent trip. Near shore, the sheep's head bite is really going well. Uh, the, the near shore rigs, near shore reefs, all are holding sheep's head. There's a lot of red snapper out there. You may have to weed through some of those guys, but I tell you, if you're around the sheep head, they're generally gonna outcompete the, the uh, red snapper right now. Y'all go out, this is a great, great time to have a lot of fun and catching a lot of fish, as well as the bull reds are on the near shore, beaches, reefs, and, uh, and sandbars. We're throwing eye strike jig heads with the uh, diesel eye jig heads as, and using um, diesel minnow and pad, Z-Man paddlers, as well as we're also using the full uh, OG slick lure on those jig heads for these big bull reds. We're locating these fish with side scan electronics as well as seeing them on the surface. Matthew Mitchell from Mississippi, he said that the speckled trout bite is really heating up on their coast and the sheephead bite is going off near shore. Greg Hildreth out of uh, coastal Georgia said that the sheephead bite is doing very well near shore and the speckled trout and redfish bite is kind of hit and miss. But either way, it sounds like everybody's catching some fish. So y'all get out there, enjoy it. Y'all remember to keep what you need, leave the rest. God bless guys. There we go. Yeah, nice little striper. Not a really great big one, but a good one, nonetheless. Or is that a hybrid? It might be a big old hybrid, actually. That's a big old hybrid. Yep, it was a nice hybrid. Check that out, guys. Wow. This lake really shows out. I mean, it's it's got such a good population of hybrids and stripers in it. It's unreal. Another nice chunky fish. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Powerful, total boat control. Balls out, made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on, challenge your limits. That's bigger than the first one. Woo! Check that out. Oh my gosh. another nice one. Oh baby goodness gracious now he's gonna run at me oh that's another big one right there mock schooler man oh my gosh is he going to the top oh he's one running right at me Six pound line, 10 pound braid. You gotta baby them a little bit. Let them do their thing. You probably don't even need that lot of line. I'll be honest guys, like the 10 pound braid, I just like because it manages so well on a spinning rod. It's another nice one. Golly. Ooh. Come here fish. Y'all. Come here, give up. There we go. Ooh, that's bigger than the first one. Woo! Check that out. Oh my gosh. What a fight. These fish are going crazy. Let's get this fish back. We're going to talk a little bit more about what we're at and exactly how you can come to Lake Hartwell and catch these big, monstrous fish. But real fast, I want to talk about these gloves that I'm wearing right now. These are glacier gloves. Anytime that I'm out in the sun, especially really sunny days like today's bright bluebird days, I wear my sun gloves. I actually had a little skin cancer scare uh, last season, and so it's really become a part of something that I wear daily. 
but it's not even just for that. Everybody wants to talk about, oh, you gotta have gloves for sun, but the other reason is when you're catching big stripers like that, it doesn't tear your hands up as bad. And I can grab that fish and I can do everything I need to do. And that goes for just about every species of fish. Now, I, honestly guys, today I wish I had a net or a fish gripper from Academy, but I just don't have one today. So I'm just at the mercy of going and lipping them. And sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. But Lake Hartwell, guys, this is a place that so much more than just the lake. It's, it's an area, it's a, a lifestyle. This place, Lake Hartwell country is just such a big part of this area. I mean, you have some of the best restaurants around. You've got great seafood. This is a, a fantastic lake to come boating on. The water's clear on the bottom end and a little bit dirtier up the rivers. You've got kayaking, you've got everything that you can imagine. You need to come visit here. I, I'll drop some links in here. I want you to, to come to this area, find you a really good place to stay. You know, there's some great bed and breakfasts. It has all the accommodations that you could ever ask for. And honestly, it has one of the best tackle stores I've ever been in and has some really unique baits in there as well. So come check out Lake Hartwell if you get a chance. You will absolutely not be disappointed. Every time I come here, it is an experience that I always remember. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lake Hartwell Country. Catch the feeling. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King, tie one on. And by Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today on Lake Hartwell, we used a couple different baits to catch our fish. You know, the very first bait I picked up is the tried and true Baby Z2. This is a, made by Strike King. It has that Elastec type formula, plastic that doesn't tear and is really, really good for those stripers and hybrids. Using a 3 8 ounce ball head and a Team Lose Elite rod. This is a seven foot medium with a custom light spinning reel. This is made by Lose. This is the spinning reel that I absolutely love. And today we went light line on them. You know, if you've watched this show enough, you know I really like fishing lighter than average line. 10 pound braided line to a six pound Strike King Contra fluorocarbon leader. It is super strong when you hook those fish. I mean, we're catching some really, really big stripers today. And that was what I really believe was the reason we were getting some of those bites because some of them actually bit really close to the boat. But the really the breadwinner today, the one that I honestly I had no expectation of because I've never actually used the bait until today. And that is the new Mock Nation. Uh, this is a brand new bait. It's called the Schooler. It's a, a fluke style bait, but it has an elongated tail that has a lot of little breaks in it. And what this allows the bait to do is whenever you're shaking the bait, it gives it an enormous amount of action with little, little shakes. So you don't have to just like shake it really, really hard. You can barely put some action to it and it's gonna get that bait working right. I was using a quarter ounce jig head. And on this one though, I was I changed my setup a little bit. I went to a Team Lou Signature Series 610 medium rod. I was using a little bit lighter jig head, so I went to a little bit smaller rod. And then I paired it up with the Hyper Mag. This is a just a phenomenal spinning reel as well. Lake Hartwell Country is, it, it is a lifestyle. This place is phenomenal. If you get a chance, you definitely need to come check it out. But guys, I'm getting ready to hit the road. We're gonna go to another lake. And next week, we're gonna have another great episode. But until next time, I'll see you on the water.